So Project Blaze is back after a long time. The previous version, version 2.6, was based with a February security patch. Then we didn't got the March security patch update or even the April security patch update. But with this new version, the version is 2.7, what I'm talking about in this video, and it is having the May security patch, as you can see. Officially available for some of the devices. Previously, it was quite interesting, a very interesting custom home actually includes a lot of features and UI things. Unfortunately, with this new update, there are some of the things which are actually removed from this update. But of course, that, that's completely fine. Maybe with the upcoming updates, you might see some new changes, new things will be added. First of all, the default launcher, if you're able to notice, we didn't got the pixel launcher. That's very good. Of course, it's very good. But if you're able to notice, all these features are available in every other custom home too. This is based on launcher 3 and we have the same features like in app drawer, etc. One thing which I noticed here in the recent panel is the shake to clear all recents option is not present. And according to me, it's good because a lot of custom homes are adapting to that same thing. At least Project Blaze is not giving you that thing again and again. Moving on to some other changes here. Quick settings panel is one of the major highlights. Why so? Because previously they implemented the Android 11 style quick settings panel. I made a video on in February regarding that update that finally a custom home which brings you Android 11 style quick settings panel. But unfortunately, it's it's not re, it's not there right anymore. It's now back to Android 13 style. Maybe with the next update, we might see that. But for now, it is having the Android 13 style quick settings panel. But the light mode in the light quick in light light quick settings panel actually in light mode looks quite good. Moving on to the settings UI, it's almost same like that the previous updates. We have the card style UI which looks quite good and I think so it's looking better than the stock Android because stock Android has a simple kind of UI. But the thing is you can't change this thing. In the previous update, some features were there. You can use the new UI or you can use the old UI. Those options are actually removed from this update. Also, if you move on to the security options, the one thing which I found is very interesting one here is the app locker, face lock, fingerprint, everything is present here. This is a very good thing, a positive thing about this custom room. You can use face unlock if you want to, you can use fingerprint unlock if you want to. And also, if you take a look at the app lock here, and if I open this protected apps option, you're able to notice we have the system apps lock option available. You can lock the system apps too. And also you can hide these apps from the launcher. I just try to hide the calculator app here. So if I open this one, as you can see, app lock is there. So if I try to restart my launcher, not restart my device, I'm going to restart my launcher once. Okay, it's here. So when I open this, as you can see, calculator is gone. It's now hidden. So yes, hide apps, app locker, and all these options are available and working perfectly fine. That's a good one. Other options which are just basically same here include theming options for you, of course, which was quite expected. Status bar, quick settings, panel, lock screen, system. Customizations are actually not removed from this one. Some of the major features were actually removed like Android 11 style quick settings panel, the settings way which you can customize. All these things are not actually available right now. But maybe with the next update, maybe with the new update, with the June security patch, they might give you all those features once again. But for now, because the update was quite so late, it's been maybe around three months when i lastly used this custom home it was february security patch it's finally here you can see the wi-fi icons or theming options are available some status bar options are basically same you can see some general options data disabled icon we have the options related to the icons which you can enable or disable from your status bar no major changes nothing new Volti and Wo Wi-Fi Wo wi icons are actually not present, I think so. And also the quick settings panel. One thing is you have the option to enable the re-ticker notifications. So according to me, this is a very good thing and it's a very great replacement of heads up notifications. And if you want to still want to use heads up notifications, that less annoying option to disable, that less annoying option which you can disable, that, that's a very good thing. It is at least present here. In-call vibration options as expectedly are already here. Advanced restart options are present. We have the ignore window secure flags so all the useful features are still present some features are actually missing from here which was one of the main highlights of these custom homes are not present but the other options at least which uh, which are available in other custom homes too are at least present here if you want to try out this custom home and if you already tried out this custom home previously and want to try out the new version the link for the official website is already available in the description you can go and take a look at some of the features which i might have missed so this is all the links is available in the description Thanks for watching. I hope you like this. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.